Hi friends, welcome back. This is my new room. It's still in renovations right now. You'll see that next week. It's a little echoey, so sorry if I'm echoing in the audio. Since my room is pretty much empty right now besides the new color, hope you guys like it. I thought, why not film this video up here instead of lugging everything downstairs to my filming room? I'll just take advantage of it right now. This is the probably only time you'll see me film in this room like this where it's like wide and open because usually I have my desk here, the mirror's over here, there's another desk here, there's like pictures on the wall. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Today, I'm gonna go over a bunch of outfits that I have been wearing or plan to wear with a bunch of new clothes that I got over the past like two months, which I feel like is a healthy reminder for myself to stop buying clothes because there's so much clothes. But it was the holiday season, so you know. I just kind of wanted to go through a lookbook with you of what I've been wearing. Um, I don't want to say winter clothes because it's been pretty warm this winter for us. Except for this week, it's been negative 30 degrees. It's supposed to be negative 40 degrees in like two or three days. So I'm not excited for that. But I hope you enjoy the video. If you like any of these outfits, you know, let me know. If you don't like any of these outfits, also let me know. There's a lot of pieces that I'm experimenting with, so um, cut me some slack, please, because I'm looking at a pair of pants right now, and I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to style that, but it looked so cool that I had to buy it. Also, your boy got a Yes Style code, so if you're ever looking for great clothes or great skincare or anything you need, Yes Style is the place to go. I'll leave my link in the bio below if you want to support me, or just use this code, JCHPXL8, to get an additional discount on top of everything else so yeah also i'm not holding this just to hold it this is my mic right now because since i'm moving everything around i don't know where my mic is right now so i'm using this as my mic because yeah again mini disclaimer that um i'm not the best at dressing up i just kind of go with the flow um if you want to see these outfits in the real life um i don't think i've posted any of these outfits yet because they're fairly still new but if you want to see these outfits like in the wild in outside areas i'll be posting a lot more very soon 2024 is our year so uh, follow me on instagram on tiktok if you want to see more of me okay let's go also i know you can see ariana in the background i'm watching the sweetener world tour movie right now yes her new song comes out tomorrow yes this video is also coming out tomorrow yes i am filming this last minute because i spent the last probably week redoing my room so uh, my new room video comes next week by the way so if you want to watch that too <laughs> Okay, let's go. Also, another thing, I keep rambling on. I know a lot of you guys have asked me if I have ADHD, I probably do. But I found out that I can also, uh... oh, it's frozen now. But I can look at myself while I'm filming there so I don't have to look at that tiny little view framer. I can look at it on my iPad now, which is uh, pretty convenient if you ask me. So, uh... so yeah, let's go. <laughs> Unscripted voiceover time by Chan. Wish me luck. So, for this first outfit here, we have this lovely Korean brand top and this Oak and Fort sweatpant thing. I put them together because I thought that they would go together. And I think they kind of do. The two stripes that just go directly down kind of throw it off. And the fact that they're both different shades of black. But overall, I think they could work together if I was like in the dark or something. It's a very comfortable outfit. The top is kind of like a windbreaker. I'm wearing a tank top underneath as well. Not good for the winter, but it's nice. And uh, when I zip it up though, I kind of look like an egg, which is the majority of things when I wear with hoods. So that's probably not the best idea, but that's outfit number one. Moving along, just swapping out the top, we have this hoodie zip up by Noon Goons. I honestly just needed a very nice zip up that was just basic, perfect for my aesthetic. It has the Noon Goons logo just on the sleeves, which I feel like is a great touch. And yeah, it's just super comfortable. I can see myself wearing this on errands or just running to a friend's house. And if I want to elevate it a little, I can put on these Prada shades and uh, look like an undercover spy or someone in a disguise. I don't know. Anyways, next up is this outfit that I can't tell if I like or not. It's this top from Ben Shearman. As you can see here, I don't know if I'm feeling it. I low-key look like a golfer, also a priest. I don't know what's going on, but um, it's a very comfortable top. Moving along is probably one of my favorite outfits. It's this vest from 6th June. 
every single time I wear this, my parents think I'm some like police bodyguard person because I look like one, but I just love it. I've been wanting this one for a long time as well. I like how compact it is. I was gonna get the Canada Goose one, but this one's a fraction of the price. It's a little unique. I like the extra pockets. I don't really use them ever, but it's a cool touch, you know? So far, I've only had to wear it sleeveless or with a t-shirt because it's been so warm, but now it's negative 40 degrees, so uh, I can't wear this anymore without like piling a hoodie or something under it. This is easily the most questionable outfit in this video. If you were listening to the intro, this is the pants that I was talking about. I really don't know what I was thinking. I saw these and I was like, I just have to have them. They remind me of Balenciaga for some reason. Do I know how to style them? Not really. Will I do my best to figure it out? Yes, I will. I have it paired with this mock turtleneck that I got from Simon's, but I can also see myself wearing this with the vest or even just a plain hoodie and let the pants speak for itself you know it's such a statement piece that i had to have it i only have one other pair of gray pants so i was like oh this is perfect the pants are from ragged priest i wish it was a little heavier it's pretty light it kind of sits awkwardly on my body maybe i'll add weights to it or something Next up is this really nice sweater that I've been wanting. It's from Elkin Ford. I've been wanting this one for such a long time. It's like um, a reverse stitching kind of a pattern. I'm pretty sure it's wool. I haven't dried it ever because I'm too scared to. It keeps me really warm. It's not itchy either. It's just something simple I can throw on. I like to pair it with my Dior bag. We go on a lot of adventures and this is an outfit that I have already worn so many times. And it was on sale when I got it because I waited. And that's why you should always be patient, kids. Switching out the top once again, I am changing it to this kind of a sheer material. It looks like just your regular varsity kind of a sweatshirt, but it's completely see-through and very breathable. Perfect for the summer, terrible for the winter season I'm in right now. I feel like it lays very well. It would look better if I didn't have the tank top underneath, but you know what? We're gonna roll with that. Up next is this jersey. It says 05. Honestly, I just got serious Tate McRae vibes from this shirt, and I'm a huge fan of her album. Um, she's actually from the city right beside me, so uh, we're technically Canadian neighbors. 05, I'm actually born in 04, but uh, if you know, you know. Um, I don't think anybody's gonna get that. But anyways, um, it's just a really cute shirt i've never owned a jersey before i have no idea what the brand is but uh i got a matching one with my best friend delina but yeah just a jersey shirt because i never had it before i want the scissor one though so uh if you have it please send it my way <laughs> This next one is just a very simple and minimalistic outfit. It's just me in a sleek and simple black knitted quarter zip sweater. I told myself that I wouldn't be buying any more simple clothes, but I just really like this one. I wish they had a gray one, but they didn't. I got it from Zara. It was like $27, I think. But yeah, I also wear this with my bag a lot. I just like to pair the two. But whenever I'm out, this is a very quick outfit that I can just throw on. If you watched my last fashion video, I slightly mentioned this shirt because when I was filming that video, I was actually waiting for this one to come. It's this Y3 shirt. It kind of reminds me of the misbehaved shirt that every K-pop idol was wearing. So I saw this one and I was like, hey, this one's pretty nice. I have a ways to go before this looks good on my body, but you know what? Might as well get it now before they sell out. I see myself wearing this with some baggy cargo pants, which is the one I'm wearing right now. These ones are from Simon's. Really nice, just, you know, fitted outfit that'll be great for the summer after I get a little buffer because right now I haven't worked out in a very long time, so I'm gonna get back to that because the belly is starting to show again. This next outfit is probably the most preppy and not streetwear thingy at all. It's this gray sweater vest. I paired it with this mock turtleneck underneath that's white. And then just some plain dress pants because you can never go wrong with dress pants. This is an outfit that I could see myself being a teacher in. I will never be a teacher, but this is an outfit I would wear if I was a teacher. Or if I wasn't a teacher because I'm not and I'm still wearing it. Anyways, you know, this could be cute for like museum dates, picnic dates cafe dates i've gotten a lot of compliments on it as well so that's very nice it boosted my ego very nicely so uh thank you all right so those are some of my looks for today um now that i've seen them on me i'm kind of questioning whether they look good or not but it's a work in progress these are some of the outfits that i have been wearing will be wearing hopefully you like the video you like some of the outfits maybe you took inspiration for some of them who knows if you want to see more i'll be posting a lot of these on my Instagram and my TikTok. Go follow them if you want to go see them. Again, if you're buying anything off of YesStyle, you should use this code right here. Oh, this one's also doing, gonna do well.
But yeah, that'll be everything for me today. Thank you for watching. This room will be done by the time that you see it next. I gotta go clean up and do a lot of laundry now, so uh, yeah. Okay, bye for now.